Boom, what's going on Warriors? Welcome to Boom Athletics. I'm Sean Seberg. I'm here with my good buddy, Keith Pendak. He's gonna model this exercise off for us today and make it look awesome. Right, Keith? Absolutely. How you doing today? Great. <laughs> so we're gonna go over the prone cobra from the floor. Uh, we can do this on the ball as well. We're just gonna do the floor version for today and we're gonna go over some of the key points and we're gonna kinda go over a checklist of things we wanna watch when doing a prone cobra. One of the reasons, one of the main reasons why people do this or would need to do this is if they have rounded shoulders. Have you ever found in your life that you had kind of rounded shoulders? Oh, yeah. You're like, oh man, if I could just bring that back, I would be so much stronger. Driving my car. Yeah, driving the car, playing on the computer, playing the video games, start to lean more forward, forward. Damn it, that's a kill streak! I got it! <laughs> so. You guys can try this at home actually, you can do it on the floor, you can do this anywhere. That's the great thing about this exercise. If you find yourself shrugging forward, if you really can't get a full retraction here and pull it back and hold it for an extended period of time and have a good posture, you definitely want to think about doing stuff like this or especially this exercise. Let's try this key. I'm going to have you come down on your chest. Just like so. so First things first, let's checkpoint. Glutes, engage, squeezed, just like that. Toes pointed back, good, check. Hands, we want to externally rotate. We don't want to externally rotate a little bit, we want to externally rotate a lot of it. So we want these hands to be way, way out here. And as you can see, that already brings his shoulder blades back right there. He's nice and solid now. So he's going to try to hold that position. Not the easiest thing if you've never done it before. Keith really hasn't done this before too much and this is one of the first times he's done it. So this is challenging for him. So what I'm going to have Keith do is try to raise his chest one to two inches off the ground for about one to two seconds and then come back down nice and slow. Come on up. And down. And his neck is moving a lot here. We're going to try to limit that. And we're just going to try to have him keep it as stiff as possible. Try not to have your head come down. Try to tuck your chin in the whole time. There you go. And that's a little bit better right there. So a lot of stuff going on. Obviously he's tight because his hands are trying to turn back down. He's got to fight that the whole time. What I want you guys to do, if you're going to put this in your routine, you can even put it in your warm up. Definitely be beneficial at that point. Is try two sets of 10 to 12 reps. And again, you're going to come just about two to three inches off the ground. And then two seconds, you're going to come right back down. Two to three seconds, two to four seconds. You'll feel it. You'll definitely feel it if you've never done it before and you know you have some, uh, some protraction going on throughout the shoulders. That's good, uh, Keith. You can relax. How was that? Feel that. Feeling that. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, buddy. So try this in your next routine. Try it in your next warm-up. Let us know how it feels, what you That's think great. about it, if it's working for you, if you have a much taller spine. Thanks for watching guys. Boom. Hit it hard.